These are very bespoke, very sought after vehicles. I can do six to 10 a year and that's about it. It takes the history of these trucks, it modernizes them, smashes them together, and it has a striking appearance and performance that you will not believe. Bad it's the blood, sweat, and tears that makes these things special. This truck is the real deal. It's ready to go. The Dodge Power Wagon came out immediately after World War II, and we're in production all the way through 1968. They're some of the toughest, hardest working trucks that were ever available on the American market. When I was a kid growing up, my dad had a Korean War power wagon. And as a little kid, he used to let me drive the thing. It was just this fascinating, larger than life kind of machine. And so I think it was some of those early experiences that just made me fall in love with these machines. When Winslow started restoring power wagons in 2008, he wasn't met with too many smiles from his fellow restorers. Pickups were often treated as second-class citizens, but Winslow wasn't put off. He wanted to create a legacy in restoring these power wagons and was determined to give them a new lease of life. This truck is the 118th legacy power wagon conversion that we've done. As we progress through each one, we just keep perfecting that formula a little bit more and a little bit more. This project in particular was very interesting because the customer needed a very high level of finish on the interior to look like a real gentleman's truck. But he also has been known to really take his stuff out in the woods. Everything is here, easy to get to. Like if you had gloves on, you could jump in here and work on this thing and it really wouldn't be a problem. The door handles have all been upgraded so much that when you open the door, this latch triggers that step to come down. This is the part of the cab where we stretch this back 14 inches. There are some fine details here and some pretty important body lines. You need to maintain these perfectly. As you pull this back, you inadvertently create all these blind spots. So that's why we've added these, what Dodge would call a pilot house window. And one of the things that people love about these trucks is the wood bed. It's a marine grade mahogany. For the user, the first thing that you notice is, yeah, it is a little small in here, but I can already see how that extra room back here is gaining me so much. I'm a pretty tall guy, and I can move this seat back no problem. The air compressor, once charged, then allows you to operate your front and rear locking differentials. That's going to give you true four-wheel drive. All four tires have to spin at the same speed, and there's very few vehicles available nowadays that actually have that. You have a five-speed manual transmission. That first gear is a granny gear. That is only for going really slow off-road. If you're driving around town, you're normally going to start this thing in second gear. This perfect pickup has all the gear, making it smooth and safe on the open road. So driving this power wagon is an awesome experience. It's unlike anything else in your garage. You've got this incredible presence as you're coming down the road. And when we jam on the brakes in this car, those are four-wheel disc brakes, and this thing stays really, really straight, even in threshold panic stops. I need that kind of confidence in all my vehicles, even if it's an old truck. It needs to stop in a straight line, it needs to have safe brakes, it needs to have some precise steering. Working on a classic piece of Americana like this, the question is, how can I make it relevant for today's drivers, today's roads, and not have the vehicle lose its soul? There is nothing that I'm more interested in than old trucks, the history, what they were used for. I take an enormous amount of pride in my work. These trucks are my life. 